USA Monde. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Sunday Talk, episode number 21. In this episode, as always, I'm going to answer some of the questions uh, you guys sent me on YouTube and I didn't have a time to reply to them, okay? And, um, you know, before I start today's video, I want to wish you guys happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well as planned. And uh, without wasting time, let's get started, okay? The first question is going to come from um lester mendez uh, uh, his question is hi john my question is the national visa center updated the status of my immigrant visa application on june 15 to 2019 uh, so by this time it has been already over three months i already submitted all required document or do you know what is the time the wait time for them to tell me if anything i have sent is wrong or missing or tell me my medical exam and interview dates thanks in advance oh uh, so basically what uh, lester uh, mendez is asking for is um he submitted all the required document on uh, uh, nvc as for he submitted all those documents and he said it's already been three months but uh, he didn't hear anything from them he want to know uh, how long it will take nvc before uh, they will tell them that uh, you know uh, the schedule uh, his interview so he can start on uh, the medical examination uh, process and stuff like that okay so three months you know, normally it, it take uh, around you know three months you know in order for them to schedule an interview for you but the thing is, uh, like I talk about in one of my videos, sometimes it's not about NVC. It's about the embassy where they're going to schedule the interview. If the embassy is not big enough, uh, if the embassy um, doesn't handle a lot of application, uh, it will delay um, uh, the uh, interview schedule. Okay, so some of the embassy, you know, have um has a, 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 a big capacity to to handle uh, a lot of application if that's the case you will see that you know by two three months or they will schedule an interview for you but three months uh i would say to to wait a little bit maybe four months and see you know because at this point you already did what you got to do you have to let nvc um does a what um uh, they uh, they gotta do over there in, in order to schedule your interview for you. If so, a document is missing, I'm sure they probably gonna send you on on email. Um, but if you didn't get any email in three months, I, don't, I think everything is uh, it's fine, and we're just gonna wait for them to schedule an interview for you. Okay, good luck. Okay, let's move to uh, another question. Um, this one uh, it's gonna come from. Rafatul Alam. Here is his question. I'm 21 years old and uh, I need to register with uh, US uh, Selective Service System uh, from DS1810 form. How do I register for that? Oh, uh, you know that, you know, Selective Service, you have to register. I think you have to register that before uh you know before age of 25, I believe, you know. And uh, to do that, there is a website um the website is www.usa.gov uh, slash selective um, on dash uh, service. Okay, that's the website you're going to go to register your selective service. Uh, let me uh, repeat it again. www.usa.gov forward slash selective dot, uh, uh, dash service. Okay, that's the website. Another question here. This one is coming from uh, Sukinda Singh. When do they want proof of income? Well, uh, when you file your, uh, it depends on what level you are in the process. If you petition uh, for your relative, uh, usually uh, when you file your uh, affidavit of support form, you have to submit the uh, proof of income, you know, or uh, whatever uh, proof uh, you're going to use, uh, proof of income you're going to use to support the affidavit of support. That's when you start uh, submitting the, the proof of income, okay? Let's move to another one. There's a lot of questions, guys, and... Uh, I think uh, this this uh, uh, episode gonna start becoming one hour episode so I can answer those questions. You know, there's a lot of questions that you guys are gonna learn from. Uh, this one is gonna come from uh, 
Alina Tola. Hi, my husband feel I want 30. Actually, file I want 30 uh, for me and my son. And uh, he received only one I-797 uh, with one case number. Is this normal or he's supposed to receive two letters? Well, it depends if your husband is a green card holder and uh, he put your son on the I-130 form as a delivery applicant, you will receive just one uh, letter, basically one case. So it, it means like he filed one case. But I believe uh, if your uh, your husband is a U.S. citizen and uh, uh, to petition for you guys, you and your son, it's got to be two different uh, I-130 petition. That way it's going to be two different cases. And then uh, I believe you, you sh he's supposed to receive two I uh, uh, I seven ninety seven if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if it's not a case, if you somebody is uh, watching, no know, know something about that, please let us know. Okay. Thank you. Another one. Uh, this one is coming from uh, Kamash Al Al Jabali. Kamash Al Jabad Al Jabali. Oh, sorry if I'm, I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, his question is, hello, uh, thank you for the clarification. So since uh, the requester in this case is the child and then immigrant, who signs the f uh, who signed uh, the signature part of the requester? Also, there are two minor children in this case on uh, that each child needs uh, their own separate IA64W form. Um, she's talking about IA64W form, uh, which is uh, kind of like waiver uh, for IA64 affidavit of support. So if you have a child who is underage, normally you, that, that child will uh, come to United States of America, become a permanent resident. There are some criteria uh, the child will meet before. Uh, he can apply for uh, a, a waiver, uh, which is on the uh, A64W. Basically, uh, by fill it by filling up that form, uh, the child won't. Uh, you won't. You you don't need a A64W to support for the child. Okay, but the thing is, if the child is um like I believe on uh, the age of fourteen, on uh, you the parent can can sign the uh, form for for the child. You can do that instead of the child signing it uh, himself. Okay, so if you're in that situation and your child is under fourteen, under age of fourteen, yes, you can sign the form for them for him. And uh, uh, each child uh, has to fill up on its own uh, IAC4W. Uh, from my understanding, because um, it's kind of waiver for each child. So uh, if you have two children, you know, those two children, you cannot put them on one form. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it works like that. Let's move to another one. This one is is coming from Huang Kin Kuo. Hello. In case we don't use computers or electronic application center, can we send all documents to NVC by courier post? Oh well, before you can send um your your document to NVC um, by um, you know by mail and stuff like that but now all the document you have to send to NVC gotta be through on the computer electronic application on uh, center system because they're no longer accepting anything on uh, in the mail okay so if you're in that situation now don't try not send your your document to because I know reason why some people ask that question. I don't know if that's the case for you, but the thing is you have to upload on um, you know you have to scan all those documents and then save them on your computer and then from there you're gonna upload them before you submit them. And not only that, when you submit those forms, sometimes you get error. It might be because the size is too big, maybe because the the um the um when you scan the uh, the document is not that clear. So people got have um, people have um uh, people have a lot of problem, you know, uh, submitting you know, those documents through the computer electronic application system. And you know, they think that it's, it's going to be easier uh, to send it by mail. Because I made a video like almost two years ago about different ways you can send your document to NVC. But now, like I say, the only way you can send your document to NVC is going to be through the computer electronic application sender. Um, Another question. 
This one is coming from Romual Chicken. Romual Chicken. Hi, Mr. John. Can I send email to U.S. consulate when my case is on administrative processing? Well, uh, when your case is in administrative processing, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a problem if you want to send a note to U.S. consulate. But the thing is, it depends on what you want to send them because, you know, at that point, there is nothing you can say that will influence their decision. Um, because, you know, for some of you guys who don't know uh, what a... Um, uh administrative process it means like when you go to the interview and uh instead of uh, uh, consular officers uh, deny your application they will tell you that your application will be in uh, administrative process meaning that they're gonna um you know, like um do more investigation or go in detail you know uh, about your in your about your application and see exactly what's going on and uh, and uh, from there they will make a decision whether or not you will get a visa or you won't get a visa okay so in that case i don't think it's a problem to send uh, i think you can you still can send them an uh, 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 email you know if you if you have their contact information okay let's move to another one and this one is going to come from anu nambia hi sir I've got an email from NVC yesterday. It says that my case has been documentary qualified. My question is how long should I wait for visa interview? My category is F2A. So F2A, you know, for some of you guys um, who don't know, is um, a category for a spouse of a green card holder. Okay, if a green card holder petition for his or her spouse, and then uh, uh, NVC will classify that uh, spouse in um, uh, uh, that spouse visa in a category F two A visa. And um, you know, his uh, th this person question is on uh, how long he wait. Uh, he gonna wait on uh, before he can get an interview uh, letter. Uh, it it depends. Uh, normally, you know. Uh, if an I-130 petition or uh, filed by a green card holder takes uh, a long time, you know, before the intended immigrant move to the United States of America, uh, you know, I, I said in, uh, in some of my video, I said in some of the questions, when I replied to some of the questions, it might take three to five years, you know, it depends, it depends on uh, if uh, there is additional document needed from, uh, I mean, by um, NVC. And uh, so to answer your question, it might take like roughly six to a year before even, you uh, know, uh, the, you can uh, you the uh, applicant can get a uh, um, interview uh, date. You know it can take longer than that, and also it depends on on uh, the embassy or the U.S. consular where you will go. The intended immigrant, you the applicant or the intended immigrant will go for the interview. Okay. Okay. What is this one here? This one is coming from Administrator Utsman. Good evening, sir. How are you? Uh, thanks for your information. Uh, amazing. I have a question. I did mistake on my uh, DS-260. I submitted it uh, three days ago. I put none on social media and uh, I have a Facebook. Now I want to add it, but I can't. How uh, can I will how can i add it on uh, place uh, so basically this person asked me how um he or she uh, can uh, edit the uh, former ds260 after submitted uh submitted to nvc uh, national visa center so usually when you submit your from ds60 uh, you cannot go back and edit anything before you can edit stuff you can save it and edit stuff but once you submit it once you nvc uh you cannot you cannot you know i think when you after you, you just submit it you still can go back but it won't let you edit it you know i don't think it will edit, let you edit it but most of the time what people do is like you know like in this situation you have a facebook account but um there is a question on the form as if you have a social media account you say no but in fact you have a facebook account now you're trying to add your facebook account so what i'm going to recommend you is like when you go to the interview or uh, if they ask you that question you just tell them yes um, but 
you start to edit on uh, the form but you already submit the reason why you didn't have a chance to to edit it okay so most of the time if you miss something and you cannot edit the form ds260 you still have a chance to take on uh, a proof uh, to to the interview that way when uh, the question uh, is asked you still can uh, you know you know show the proof you know that's how that's how it works okay let's see here this one is from excuse me arian amir hello sir i want you to know about affiliate support fee on the 120 dollars um i completed on uh, what they need but still won't pay affiliate support uh, i'm trying to pay the fee but they, they don't uh, let me pay the fee on the i emailed nvc they told that server that is a server problem um but they will take on uh, the the fee so he said she said nobody can say anything about it could you please let me know how long we need to wait for it oh basically um uh, what, what the person trying to say here um is um she trying to pay the affidavit support fee okay which is the 120 20 dollars i believe but uh, she's having a problem to uh, to pay the fees. When I say she, because of her pictures, uh, it looks like a, a, uh, a female. Um, so uh, she's trying to pay the, the fee, but uh, the, she's having a hard time to pay the fees. And uh, she called, she emailed MVC, and they said there is a it's a server uh, problem. So she wanna know how long it will take before they can uh, take the the money. So basically, when you manage to pay the affiliate support fee. It depends on your bank, okay? It might take up to a, a, a seven business day, five to seven business day before uh, the money can and be taken out of your your account. You know, if you if NVC doesn't take the money from your account, just wait because uh, you know maybe your bank uh, didn't uh, uh, process the payment uh, yet. You just have to wait a little bit, okay? Usually, it take like up up to a week. You know, some some bank will take up to a week in order to to release the the fund okay um and then this one is coming from uh, wilkie aligan after uscs approved i 130 does nvc send mail to petitioner or beneficiary usually the petitioner or if you have a, a agent like an attorney that person will receive the letter uh, saying that nvc uh, uh, has approved the i 130 petition okay Okay, let me see here. And I think uh, this one's gonna be the last one. This one is coming from uh, Smart Boy Khan. I have submitted all the required documents uh, which have been accepted. NVC messages me uh, to send additional document, which is an employment letter. Should I send or without it, the, the interview will come? Uh, basically, what this person's asking, uh, NVC is asking him to send an employment letter, and he want to know if uh, he's still going to get an interview letter, even even if the, you know, he doesn't send an employment letter. Guys, one thing you have to know is that when NVC asks you, uh, asks you something, send it. Okay, whatever they ask you, send it. Don't give them a chance to deny your application, to reject your application. If MVC, like like in this case, MVC is asking for employment letter. If you have it, all you got to do is to submit it, okay? Just go get it and submit it to them. That way you know you do your part. Don't try to, you know, you know, thinking about okay you know whether whether or not you're gonna send it and if you don't send it what's gonna happen if you don't send it i don't think they will schedule your interview i don't think so because in order for them to schedule your interview everything have to be uh you know all the document they have to review all the document and then see that whatever they ask you you send them you know you have to have all your document go through it review it before they and then accept them before they can schedule an interview for you okay so guys i'm not gonna uh, make this video too long uh, it's almost a uh, 20 minutes video and uh i will uh, wish you guys again happy sunday i know like i always say some of you guys i don't go to church you know i have to cook i have to do different stuff and uh, i hope the rest of your day goes well as planning and uh thanks for watching i will see you talk to you guys next sunday love you
USA Mundo.